I think it's important to have uh, accelerators in this space. I think fintech in, in, in general, globally, is still a very new area within the startup ecosystem. Uh, more particularly here in Asia Pacific is, is even newer, is even less mature. Uh, I think the challenges around fintech is, is, is quite uh, big because it's such a heavily regulated industry, financial services, unlike some of the other uh, startup uh, industries. Uh, and also, you know, the financial institutions are very complex organizations, being, you know, outside of being highly regulated, they're also very, very difficult to tap into. So I think the ecosystem is, is, is really important. So outside from accelerators to help push and drive the growth of the industry, it's also important to have other key players such as civic support from the government, um, you know, to have the right entrepreneurs, uh, the financiers that also understand this space. So, the success of it will definitely be driven by a very collaborative uh, ecosystem. One of the statistics we recently saw was that uh, you know the banks are planning to spend I think nearly 500 million this year just on sorry 500 billion this year just on you know IT. Uh, so there is a real real focus in 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 the uh, fintech space. So there's there's a lot of opportunity for growth. Again, you're starting from a very low base. Um, and again, there's some, some, some real serious challenges. But in Southeast Asia in general, there are a lot of uh, opportunities for some of the small businesses because, uh, especially in the emerging markets, uh, there are some of the uh, you know, consumers out there that are what we call the unbanked consumers, which they don't even have bank accounts yet, where you know, startups can address you know, how do we engage those, those type of consumers you know, along with the, the, you know, helping the financial institutions doing that.